This year, we just took it like a whole nother level. level. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome to the very first video of How to Vegan the Holidays 2017. And our annual sitting on the floor by a Christmas tree video. That's how you start off Christmas stuff, right? right? So we figured for the first video in the series, it should probably be a gift guide yeah. so that people can start do their shopping. Because most people have probably started their shopping already. You know, if not, what are you doing? It gets so busy in December, start shopping. I know. Or do what we do. <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> do what we do and shop online. Yes. Which we got the perfect list for you. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we've put together our holiday gift guide for vegans. It's basically two marker girls' favorite things. Yes. <laughs> So if you're shopping for a vegan, or if you are a vegan, or if you're thinking about going vegan, or starting a blog, or or any YouTube channel, yeah. like it doesn't have to be vegan things. If no. you want to start a YouTube channel, we kind of did this as general as possible. It's stuff that we really like to use pretty much on a daily basis. So yep. yeah. During last year's, we drank hot chocolate, mm -hmm. and we thought it would be good to do that again. This is actually one of our recipes that's coming up in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. It's the very last video? No, it's not the last video. It's almost the, the last one. It's almost the last video. I think it's the 17th of December that this one comes out. You're going to want to check it out because, guys, they're so good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're starting out with tech stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so this first thing, camera. Yeah. So Everyone needs a good camera if you're going to start a YouTube channel. So, mm -hmm. And if you're into photography, too, yeah. the camera is important. So because we do video and photos, we're recommending a camera that is ideal for both. Yeah. So, so the, yeah. So the camera that we are recommending is the Sony A6300. This is a mirrorless camera and the reason we are recommending it is because it's a smaller size which makes it ideal if you're going to go into vlogging mm -hmm. but it's also a very powerful camera. It's so small that sometimes I feel like people don't think it's as legit as it is. But it, it's absolutely. And as I said again if you are thinking about doing something like vlogging the autofocus on this camera is so good. It's one of my favorite features because I can set it up and I can trust it. Exactly. <laughs> so, and as far as video goes, it shoots at slow motion frame rates as well as... Which is amazing so, yeah. to have on a YouTube channel. Yeah, and it's at a reasonable price. For what it does, I think the price is reasonable. Yeah, I, I think so too. The other thing we're going to recommend is something for your audio. So yes. we shoot using uh, lav mics. You can see them now, maybe right here. We have had some trouble with audio, but that's because of our skill level while editing audio and placing audio, not because these mics aren't amazing. Yeah. Because these mics are amazing. But the reason we are recommending these mics is because one, they do have good quality yeah. once you figure out how to use them and where to best place them. Mm -hmm. And they plug right into our phones. Yeah. And so. they're not very expensive. No, they're like a hundred bucks, yeah. right? Which was, is a really easy investment, especially for someone who, if you want to get into YouTube, YouTube, then this is a good investment to do and it's not that much money. Mm -hmm. And the final item we are recommending in our tech category is called a Gorillapod. It's made by Joby, I believe so. is how you yeah. pronounce it. And it's, you've probably seen it almost, I feel like everybody on YouTube is using a Joby pod it's, these days. The thing we like about it is that the, uh, legs are very flexible, so whether you need like to stick it on something, you can attach it to things, mm -hmm. the legs will curl around, Amazing. or if you're holding it for vlogging, that is, you know, classic Casey Neistat style, <laughs> but it works, so it's a good investment. And it's super high quality, so you'll be able to trust your camera on it not to fall off. Mm -hmm. It's a good starting tripod <laughs> yes. because it's so flexible and can be used different ways. We recommend it so much. Mm -hmm. Next category, photography. Yes. So the first one was more for video. Yeah. With some, like obviously the camera we mentioned is great for photography as well, but we wanted to go specifically into photography and kind of styling yeah. if you want to go into food photography. So when it comes to food photography, one of the big things you need to have is something to put your food on that looks better than just your basic plates and stuff like yes. that. Because if you don't have a nice wooden barn board table, which I'm going to assume most people don't, <laughs> you need some kind of backdrop, you need some kind of thing to set it on. And both of us really like the dramatic dark mm -hmm. photography, which is why we are recommending a slate board. Mm -hmm. 
The thing about this is that it's actually not that big, so no. it won't take up that much space in your kitchen, but you get great shots on Yeah, it. especially if you have like really colorful dishes, mm -hmm. they just pop on a black background yeah. and it's so amazing. And these are not expensive to come by either. So, and we've, again, Amazon. Amazon's your best friend this, yes. this Christmas. So this is a great starting thing to have. The second thing that we use pretty yeah, much for every single photo we take is chalkboard contact paper. Yes. Contact paper is your best friend because you could get, like we're using a, what was it, $10 table? A $10 Ikea desk. A, just the tabletop? tabletop? It was $10 white from Ikea. We flipped it over so we still have that white backdrop yeah. and on the back we added contact paper so we have two different backgrounds mm -hmm. now. Yeah, and the thing is contact paper actually comes in a lot of different yes. colors. I've seen really nice marble I was going to say, and it's not that bad, like if you were taking a close-up shot, it looks like marble. Yeah. Like if you do the contact paper right, you can pass off for so many different mm -hmm. surfaces. It's so smart. Highly recommend it. We'll link some good ones below. Definitely. The final item for photography is actually a specific <laughs> lens. So it's a the 50... best lens you can ever invest in. It actually is a really good lens. If you're just getting into photography and you want something other than the kit lens, get a 50 mil lens yeah. because not only is it really good for food photography because you get a great depth of field, so blurry background and mm -hmm. sharp focus, which makes food look so epic. Oh my God. Um, but it's also really good for portraits and stuff yes. like that. Yes, yes. Uh, this pretty much every single one of our pictures is taken with a 50 mil lens, mm -hmm. so. Kitchen time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my favorite category because I love being in my kitchen. Aww, yeah, nice. It's so much fun cooking. There is a lot of things that I think are important to have in a kitchen, but there are three things that I think we use pretty much every single yeah, video. Yeah. And the first one is the most important in my opinion. It's a really good knife. Mm -hmm. I didn't have one for the longest time and when we started getting more into the cooking stuff, I realized I just kind of wanted one and as soon as I got one, I don't know how I did anything without one because it's amazing. <laughs> it's super, super sharp and they're actually, they're pretty expensive. Mine I purchased from a warehouse somewhere for like 50 bucks, I think, but it's 100% worth mm -hmm. the investment because I don't, you just feel more confident. I think like with a dull knife, things do not go smoothly mm -hmm. <laughs> and make sure to take care of it. Make sure to sharpen it often. Like, cause this is the perfect investment and can last you a long time yeah. if you take really good care of it. So we've linked, I'm pretty sure the exact one that I have in the link below, in the description below. So this one I highly recommend. It's on the cheaper side of chef's yeah. knives, which is why I got it. Cause it was just starting out, but I would so recommend it cause it's a really good quality knife, mm -hmm. especially for the price. Another thing we tend to use a lot is a cast iron pan. Mm -hmm. And this like for cooking things like tofu, oh mm -hmm. my god, it's so good. One thing that I really like about cast iron, and people who cook will know this, is it is really good at conducting heat on an even base. Mm -hmm. So like when you put something in the oven, you don't guarantee that the heat's being distributed evenly. In a cast iron pan, it does that so well, and things cook so evenly, and you don't have to worry about something burning while the other thing's undercooked. It's an amazing thing, and you can use it on the stove and in the oven, mm -hmm. so... The cast iron pan has literally changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. And lastly, another like need in the kitchen, in my opinion, especially if you bake a lot, Silpat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have heard of Silpat, but it's basically just a silicone baking sheet. And there's a lot of knockoffs out there, but I think Silpat was like the original one. And it's a little pricier, but I think it's worth going for that one because I've had the knockoff ones and they just don't last as long. Mm -hmm. And they don't just, they just don't do as great. Mm -hmm. The Silpat is amazing, such a good investment to get. And again, if you take care of it, it'll last you so long. All right, our next category, cookbooks. You, We get a lot of inspiration from cookbooks. Yeah. And once you start, uh, not even a lot of like cooking inspiration, but a lot of photo inspiration mm -hmm. from cookbooks because cookbooks are honestly some of the prettiest oh books ever. <laughs> so we're sharing our favorite ones in terms of recipes, Local, representing yes. locals They're from Toronto. They're all local Canadians, GTA type people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so our first recommendation is Oh She Glows. Oh She Glows. The blog that got me to go vegan. Whoa. Uh, Angela Lydon is so amazing at creating recipes. Her photos are gorgeous. I don't know how she does it on a light background because yeah. we've tried it and it's so hard to do. But like her recipes are so good. They're like go-to healthy recipes. 
she does some indulgent recipes that are great, but her healthy like bowls and stuff like that are so amazing. Mm -hmm. And she's like local to Toronto. Like she lives in the GTA and she's so amazing at what she does. She's got two cookbooks out. That's her second one. Go check out her first one as well because they're both amazing. And the next one, Made with Love. Made with Love. Well, the one you might not know, it's from Kelly Childs and Ari, Ari, Ari. Kelly Childs and Aaron Weatherby. They own a bakery in Burlington, Ontario, which is about an hour from us, um, called Kelly's Bake Shop. It's the most amazing bake shop ever because they're so they're so mm-hmm. allergy friendly because mm-hmm. they are all vegan. They're gluten free, I believe. It should say somewhere, right? I think on the back. So they're all plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, and peanut-free. How like, do you do that? And they taste amazing. Um, and they made a cookbook with both sweet and savory in them. And it's so good, guys. Like, they're savory dishes because they also have a restaurant called Lettuce Love. That's like healthy bowls and stuff okay. like that. So they have some of those recipes in here as well as their baked goods. Their baked goods are like so good. Get this. And finally... Not only a local Toronto, but also a fellow YouTuber, Edgy Veg. Yes, she just came out with a cookbook like a month and a half ago, two months ago. And guys, her cookbook is amazing. I think it's most like our recipes where they're more indulgent, they're more a little unhealthy, Mm -hmm. you know, they're more fast food type easy recipes. But that's kind of what I like to do, which is why we make them for you. And her recipes are so good. Mm -hmm. The good thing about a cookbook like this is that she really focuses on carnivore approved. So if you're trying to get into veganism and you're figuring out, okay, I really like mac and cheese or something like that, you're trying to veganize things that you like, this is the kind of cookbook that's going to be perfect for that because that's basically what she does in the book, right? Pretty much, and on her YouTube channel. Yeah, so it's great for somebody who's transitioning and trying to figure out what their substitutes are going to be. It's like, you know how everyone says, Start with the stuff you love. So if you really like a good burger, veganize a burger. Yeah. She does things like this, and her cookbook will be great for that. And in honor of the holiday season kicking off, we have something special for you guys. We're doing a giveaway of this book. We of were her amazing cookbook. Yeah, we were sent a copy to give away to you guys. So in order to enter, you have to be subscribed. Yes. You have to like this video. Yes. And you have to comment below what's your go-to recipe to convince people that vegan food is actually really good. So you can enter to win it. We will pick the winner from the comments and announce it. Where are we going to announce it? Instagram? Twitter? Everywhere. Well, we'll comment back to you if you've won it. You will announce it on Instagram, Twitter. We'll announce it everywhere. Let let us know. Be sure to follow us on all those accounts because we need some love over there. (laughs) Um, So if you want to win this copy, be sure to do all those things before midnight or before 11.59 p.m. on December 3rd. That's this Sunday, uh, our time, which is, I don't know. Toronto. Toronto time. Time. Eastern Standard Time? I think so, yeah. (laughs) Whatever Toronto time is, 11.59 p.m. this Sunday, December 3rd. Be sure to enter to win this cookbook. Mm -hmm. Um, And we have one last category. Yeah, the last category, because it is the season of giving, right? You gotta give back. So we thought, what are some charitable charitable things. Exactly. Not everyone wants gifts. And I think that's so noble to not want gifts during the holiday season because it's such an easy thing to be like, I want this, I want this, I want this. But it's not all about that, right? We got to give back. And we picked two of our favorite charitable causes to give money to. They're local to us. Um, But if you don't feel like giving ones, you want to give ones to local in your area, just find one, you know? But we want to give a shout out to our two Favorite ones. First one is Wishing Well Sanctuary. They have a farm just outside Toronto somewhere. And they give animals, farm animals, like a place to live. You know, they rescue them and bring them back. And it's so amazing. They have so many cute animals there, guys. Mm -hmm. And things like, places like that always need some help. They don't get a lot of help from the government or grants or anything. So they always need some help. You can volunteer. You can donate. Do whatever you can because the animals are so worth it. And every little bit helps. Oh, absolutely. Like, even if you can only do like a dollar, it helps. Believe me, because if everyone who watched this video gave a dollar, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other sanctuary that we want to shout out is Storybook Primate Sanctuary. They take in monkeys that have kind of 
They've been, been tested in labs. Yeah. They've been, because it's legal in Canada to own monkeys as pets, which is crazy, mm -hmm. anybody who realizes, hey, a monkey's not a very good pet, or something like that, they take in those monkeys as well. If you guys know about the Ikea monkey, that went pretty big. Yeah. They have the Ikea monkey, Darwin, now, and he's living there with them. Mm -hmm. But again, they are local, and they really do run off volunteers and donations, and they are always looking for donations, even stuff like toys for the I, monkeys and things like that. I think they have like, like an that. Amazon wish list, which we yeah. try and find and link below because you can purchase things for them on Amazon mm -hmm. and I think it ships right to them. So that would be an amazing way if you don't feel like donating cash to them. Yeah. All right. That sums up our very first video of How to Begin the Holidays 2017. We covered a lot. Yes. Anything you think you might want, anything you don't know that you do want, We've covered and we got it in the list for you. We think it's just a good idea just to send this whole video to your family members. Yeah. We've tried to organize all the items as easily as possible so that if you are sending them on to other people, it's easy for them to go through it and see what you want. We have thoroughly linked our essentials to help you guys out. Plus some. Yeah. <laughs> if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we have an amazing How to Vegan the Holiday series. It's like, so guys, good this year. It's so much better than last year, and last year was amazing. So <laughs> We're always taking recommendations for next year, for up future videos, anything you want. Just leave us a comment in any of our videos. Tell us what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right, you know, all that stuff. If we've been naughty or nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we would love it as a Christmas gift from you if you could share our videos. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that's all for this video. We will see you in the next episode of How to Vegan the Holidays. Yeah. Bye. One. I'm 20. Four. I forgot my age. You're 24. I thought it was 23 still. <laughs> Did I have it, it on back? It what am I doing? <laughs> How's this? <laughs> You're like a Santa monster. You should cut out eye holes. Right. <laughs> okay. Welcome. I, don't I never start the video, so I never know how they start.